On Ukraine, you've committed uh, the government another $100 million. The US has also committed a significant amount. I just wonder, are defence planners looking at the situation there and weighing up the prospect that Donald Trump uh, could and, and likely, you know, according to a lot of polls, will win in November um, and the prospect that he'll pull the pin on support? Well, I mean... Um Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen um, in the American elections, and um, you know, g given the nature of America in the world, um, the American elections are clearly a, a significant event, um, and people, uh, you know, think about that. But I think the the important point to make is that um, this is a really critical time for Ukraine. Um, it really matters that the world is standing up on behalf of Ukraine now. I mean, it has mattered from the day that Russia engaged in its appalling invasion of Ukraine, but it particularly matters now. That's why we felt it was important to not only make the, this next announcement or next tranche of support that we did, but to actually go to Ukraine and, and make the announcement there. I think the, the, the package that has passed the United States Congress... Um, package that was announced by the United Kingdom, there's a package from Denmark and obviously our own. All of it coming in a short period of time is a real fillip for, um, for Ukraine. It is a boost in morale. I mean, particularly the American package is going to make a very significant difference in their ability to be able to prosecute the war and their interest in the war. But ultimately, you know, this is an existential conflict for Ukraine and Ukraine must be able to resolve this conflict on its terms, and we will stand with Ukraine for as long as that takes, irrespective of what happens in the rest of the world. Just on that money, the $100 million, is it out of the existing Australian defence budget or is it extra on top of that out of general revenue? No, this is a contribution from defence. Um, and uh, but it is a it is a significant contribution of a hundred million, and, and we will continue to look at ways in which we will support. This by no means is the end of our contributions to Ukraine. Of course, I mean, what, what I think I think in, in in part in answer to your previous question, the way we are thinking about it in terms of our own planning is that this is going to be a long, drawn out, enduring conflict. Um, and we need to be there over the long term. And so we will be, you know, we, we are thinking about how we can continue to provide support and provide support as we have done up until this point in time. So this is simply... The Does it mean cuts out of our own defence, though? Commitment of support. Does that no. mean it cuts out of our yeah, own defence no, in order to boost Ukraine? Well, no. Well, 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 well Kieran, I think the point to make here is, as we've said before... Defence's budget um, is expanding significantly. I mean, as we announced when we announced the National Defence Strategy, um, what will be in this year's budget over the next four years um, represents as big an increase in defence spending over a four-year period as has happened in decades. Um, and that's, that's measured in billions of dollars. Um, and, and we are seeing you know, an additional $50 billion over the next 10 years uh, relative to what we inherited when we came to office. Um, so there are very, very significant increases in defence spending, which are of a historic scale. You know, part of our focus, um, you know, needs to be on on you know what is happening in the world. I mean, we are we are very much focused on our region as we should be. That's what the Defence Strategic Review asked us to be. But you cannot be focused on the region without having an eye to the world. And clearly, what is playing out in Ukraine um, does have an impact on the way in which the uh, global rules-based order is maintained everywhere in the world, including in our part of the world. So you know, this is an appropriate commitment in, in terms of Australia's defence. It is appropriate commitment in terms of Australia's national interest, and there will be more commitments going forward. Deputy Prime Minister R Richard Miles, I appreciate your time. As always, thanks. Thanks, Kieran.